Hey guys, Steph the Illuminated Nerd here. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Amazon Alexa and we're gonna be making a custom skill which allows you to trigger a custom response from a custom request. So let's get right into it. Okay, in order to make an Amazon Alexa skill, the first thing that you need to do is you need to make an Amazon Web Services account. You have to go to aws.amazon.com and you click create an AWS account, fill in the form and once you're signed in and you're in the services panel like this you need to make sure that you're in the u.s east north virginia region as that's one of the regions that supports doing uh, alexa skills and uh in the compute section you want to look up the lambda service now the lambda service allows you to run uh, small pieces of code without needing to worry about setting up servers or whatnot. So that's cool because we can run uh, just the little piece of code that we need to be able to, to do our Alexa skill uh, and have our uh, Alexa actually trigger that skill remotely. Uh, and it's not going to cost us anything because AWS Lambda allows us to run a million requests a month for life uh, for free. Uh, and should you ever go above that 1 million threshold, there are ways of getting uh, Amazon to credit your account, and I'll show you how to do that later, uh, in case you do wanna run your skill so that people, other people can use the skill that you make, right? Uh, so in the Lambda section, you wanna click on Create a Function, and you wanna use the Blueprints. Let me just make sure that this is a little bigger. 200% is fine. All right, so you wanna pick Blueprints, and you wanna filter by the word Alexa. And then you can see that you've got uh, some pre-made uh, skills already, right? So that's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab the, let's do the fact skill. Let's just use this one. All right, and then we'll just edit it so that it's a very simple skill instead, right? Uh, so my function name, I will call it, uh, uh, let's see if Alexa knows how to cast a spell. Do you know any spells? That will be the name of my function. Uh, role, uh, create a custom role, and then this will pop open a new window, and then you don't really need to do anything, just click on allow, it'll pre-populate all the information you need, and then it'll bring you back to your previous window, and now it'll have populated this with the uh, the role that got created and that just gives uh, access to uh, lambda so that it can execute your function and that's all you need to know now here is the code that comes with the lambda because we use like a, a blueprint right so this is like the source code of the blueprint it's not too bad it's not too long and we're going to edit that later you don't have to worry about that for now then you just click on create function and move on okay so then uh, if we scroll down here there's a code editor that allows us to edit the source code right here of our skill and it's already like a fully functional uh, piece of source code that was used for uh, a sort of ask for facts system uh, about space, facts about space. And it actually will give you one of these facts from this list of facts. So that's a nifty skill, but we're gonna do something even simpler than that. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're just going to name it, do you know any spells? We don't need this fact message. You can say, this is just the help. Do you know any spells? Okay. Um, app ID, we'll fill that in later once we have it. Uh, yeah, we don't need any of this data. Get rid of that. Okay, let's move this over here. Okay, now launch request, that's uh, the default uh, function that gets called if you're calling, if you're invoking your skill without any extra text or parameters. So if you have a skill where you can ask questions or do like a lot of uh, uh, extra sub phrasing to your invocation of your skill, um, that's called uh, an intent and then you can build different intents that are uh, 
in order to basically do like a flow of a conversation. But we're doing something super simple. So we just want to hook into that launch request because we're just going to make it so that you're going to ask a single sentence and expect a single sentence reply uh, without going into, uh, you know, all of the complexities of building uh, multiple responses and whatnot. So get rid of all that extra fluff and we just want it to say this dot response dot speak. So here's where a response is going to be. And uh, here where it says get new fact intent, that's actually just going to be the name of our intent. I'll call it something more relevant. Do you know any spells? That'll be our intent. Intent is, I guess, another way of saying function, but um, it's just the way that Amazon phrases the terminology so that it's more relevant to a conversation flow. Um, so these are help, cancel, and stop intents are built-in ones. Um, so, so when you tell your uh, Alexa in the middle of the Alexa saying a response, if you say Alexa stop, um, then this is what it would trigger, right? Your stop intent. It would call the stop message, which is goodbye. So that's good. But all we got to focus on is our launch request, which calls do you know any spells, and which calls this function, and it say this dot response dot speak. I can cast magic missile dot 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 into the darkness. There. That's it. That simple. Leave the rest default as it is. So let's just do file save for now. We do need to fill out the app ID once we get back to it. Uh, but uh, for now, um, this is. Uh, Done for now. Click save up here. Okay. Now let's move on to part two. Okay. So for part two, you have to go to developer.amazon.com and you have to make an Amazon developer account. Uh, so here I am at developer.amazon.com and I click on sign in and then I click on create your Amazon developer account. Okay. Now I'm already signed in over here. And I went to developer.amazon.com slash Alexa. And um, under Alexa Skills Kit, get started, Alexa Skills Kit. And then I click on Start a Skill. OK, now I'm in the Alexa console, and I'm going to click Create Skill. OK, and then give it a skill name. Do you know any spells? Click Next. Uh, choose a model to add to your skill. So there's some pre-built models where you can integrate with like your smart home devices or like video content and whatnot. But we're just going to click custom because uh, we want to do something simple where, where it's just a, a simple uh, response phrase to a request phrase. So click create skill here. Okay. Uh, now on the left here, you want to do invocation, the first section. Uh, invocation is uh, basically the name of the application or how you're going to initially trigger your application. In a much more complex skill, you'd usually uh, trigger your skill and then ask it extra questions or tr or trigger your, your skill but with extra stuff tied to your initial uh, invocation. Uh, but we just want to do a single uh, sentence invocation, so there's not going to be a whole lot to this. But anyway, so the invocation name is going to be... Do you want or do you know any spells? Has to be all lowercase. You can't have any. Um, as it explains down here, you can't use any like small words. You can't put in ask, tell, launch, load, begin, enable, or uh, any of the trigger words. So there are definitely some requirements for what your invocation name can be. Uh, also, it ends up having to be unique across all other invocation names that other people have used, of course, otherwise you'd get conflicts and whatnot. So here you go. Here's my skill invocation name as do you know any spells? Um, I'm gonna hit save so far. Uh, and then under intents, uh, intents are just uh, different ways of triggering different paths. Um, you know, uh, if you click on add intent here, there's a bunch of pre-built ones that can trigger things like music, video, weather, there's some general built-in built, one, built in ones, uh, books, calendar. Uh, but uh, creating a custom intent is what we're gonna do here. And we're gonna call the intent, do you know 
any spells because if you remember back in our source code here we called the intent do you know any spells so these do need to match do you know any spells the intent here do you know any spells so I click create custom intent and uh, sample utterances is uh, a list of phrases that this intent will be able to trigger so what it says here what might a user say to invoke this intent do you know any spells enter uh, and that's it um, click save model Oh, not done. There's still some stuff left to add here. But anyway, so I got uh, my utterance in there. I got my intent. Uh, I got my utterance. Hit save. Uh, I still need to fill in my endpoint, I believe. Um, but OK, so my endpoint um, is actually uh, the lambda function. So we need this particular side of the equation to call that AWS lambda function. So this is our skill ID. I got to copy this to clipboard. You can click this little icon here to do that. And then you go back to your function over here and then you can actually paste in your uh, app ID here in this section. And file save and save. Okay, so you have your app ID here. And now that we have our skill. Okay. Um, we need to populate our endpoint and we need to add our trigger. Okay, so back here on the Lambda side of it, uh, there's Alexa, Alexa Skills Kit is uh, a trigger that will basically say that this is the Alexa Skills Kit and that when you call your device and you trigger your Alexa skill, this is how you're setting your flow so that that trigger will then call this Lambda code. So Alexa Skills Kit, scroll down, and then it's gonna ask for the skill ID that you created, which is over here. And you paste it, and you click Add. Okay, simple enough, hit Save. So now we have our full uh, flow set up of the Alexa skill calling our Calling our Lambda function, good stuff. Okay, and now we need our, uh, we need our Lambda thingy. So our ARN, which is up here at the top, we copy paste the ARN, which um, that's how our skill knows what the Lambda skill is that it needs to call. Go back here. Just paste your pair in there, and then you click Save Endpoints. Good stuff. Now we have our endpoint. We have our custom intent with one utterance. So in theory, I should be able to click on uh, Save Model, should be good, and now I should be able to do Build Model. Building, building, building. So once this is built, uh, Amazon will give us uh, a way to test uh, to make sure that it's working. So you can actually just um, try it with some text. You can type a test to make sure that it would respond correctly, right? All right, so now there we go, it's built, build successful. So now I can go to the test tab. Test is disabled, so I can just enable it. And here's a simulator. Um, I can just type 
Uh, do you know any spells? Hit enter. I can cast magic missile into the darkness. Okay, so that came out of my speakers. Um, that's cool. Okay, and now that the uh, skill has been enabled for testing, uh, as long as your Amazon account that you're using, your developer account for Amazon, is the same email address that you're using for your account that you're logged in uh, with your phone, with your Alexa app on your phone, if, if that's the same account that you're using your phone on your phone as you are for your Amazon developer account, the same email addresses, then you will be able to test your skill on your device because of that link without having to actually publish and launch your test publicly. So you can actually build uh, skills and have them running on your, uh, your devices uh, without having to actually publicly publish them. So that's kind of cool, right? Um, the only thing you have to make sure is that if you publish your skill for English US region, then you have to make sure that your uh, device is also set to English US region um, or there's English Canada region or English UK region uh, or whatnot. So the the region of your developer account has to match the region of um, that you set up your skill for and also the region of your actual device. Uh, so I just thought I'd show you, uh, since I have test enabled and all of my stuff links up, I could do, uh, computer, do you know any spells? I can cast magic missile into the darkness. So that's cool. It came out of my, uh, Echo Plus. Uh, and that's it. So there you go. That's how you build a, a really simple uh, skill with Amazon Alexa. So there was one last uh, piece that I wanted to mention uh, is that if you go to developer.amazon.com and then you click on Alexa here and this brings you to the Alexa console and under Alexa skills kit under the launch section, AWS promotional credits. Uh, so this is, um, if you have a skill that's live and you published it publicly and um, maybe it's something that's really popular and that you might end up going over the million uh, request threshold because lots of other people are using the skill that you built, you can apply for credits to your account. Um, you know, Amazon uh, wants people to be able to develop skills uh, and they want that ecosystem to thrive. So they have this program in place um, so that you can get uh, credits applied to your Amazon Web Services account so that your Lambda costs uh, aren't, uh, well, so that there aren't really any costs, right? So there you go. Check that out. And that's it. Thanks. See you in the next one.